All right. Morning. No. Afternoon, everyone. <laughs> I'm so used to doing Blue Sync and starting at, at 9.30, not 3 o'clock. Um, happy first and third. Um, the third instead of the first this time. Uh, JD here, digital marketing, technologies, all the fun, fun stuff. Um, today, we're kind of doing a review of the Office Facebook plan for our Office social media pages. Um, we rolled this out back in October, early, early October, and uh, we did it at our ASC trainings, and we did it at uh, for um, the manager meetings across our regions as well, sort of in the same week or so, and then I went out on paternity and, you know, left for six weeks. So, well, two and four, whatever. So, um, it's something that I've seen a lot of people um, doing and executing and activating, but it's also something that we can uh, always be improving on. And, you know, one of the hardest things about working on this is that one thing that I've asked from day since day one, which is hard to do, is to get one meeting a month with your manager about this page. And when I say a meeting, I mean five to ten minutes. I'm not saying we need to have a 30 to 60 minute conversation. I'm not saying it needs to be um, a whole long debrief, but it is very important that the priority level of this is the same for both our ASCs, RSCs, and our managers, and that uh, everybody is in the loop on what is going on. Because I've had it many a time, I'm sure you guys have too, where you ask your manager, hey, is it okay if we do this or that or the other? And they say, yeah, sure, you do what's best, You tr I trust you. And then two months later, they're freaking out because someone said saw something and they didn't know what was going on, and it's kind of a whole thing. So it's important that we're on the same page. It's also important that it is prioritize and I and I I am the one of the first to understand how busy everybody is right now um, I, I totally get it and I know that it's a bit different in the Midwest than in our Florida offices but it's also a good time to start getting uh, uh, a cadence down a, a rhythm down for these office pages and for posting and advertising because keep in mind in a lot of our regions not all but in a lot we have either greatly reduced or shifted completely away from print advertising into digital advertising. And on an office level, if we don't have ads going out, or if we don't have advertising you know, happening on our, our pages, there's not a lot of advertising happening full stop. So I wanna show you guys again where this plan is. I wanna show you what's on it. We tried to make it as simple as possible in terms of formatting. And then I also want to tackle any questions you might have about the content. So um, it's very easy to find on Schmidt Resources. All you have to do is click on any of your regions here and scroll down to your ASC square, ASC Resources right there. And then on this page, we have the Office Facebook plan. And it's, it's right there, it's the big Facebook symbol, can't miss it, that's what we're looking for here. And it'll download there right for you. So I have it uh, already up on my computer. So what, I'm, what I wanna do, I'm gonna Spotify, I don't need that up. What I wanna do is walk through this stuff with you guys and, and answer questions about this as we go. So the whole hope of this was that as much, as much, as possible, we put everything you need on this document. So we have it planned out by daily and weekly content, stuff to post monthly, and then supplementary content. So when you're looking for more stuff to post and looking for more stuff to share. Now remember, this is from the angle of a um, of a uh, of an office page, not for an agent necessarily, because their their content's going to be different. But from an office page, like the Coldwell Banker. Streetsboro office or the Holland office or the you know the Paradise and, and, and Sunstar um, and Premier pages down down in, in Florida. So I'm going to walk through this stuff and uh, answer questions as we go. So uh, new listings and open houses. These are the sorts of things that we are going that that are expected to be posted basically as they come. New listings, um, open houses, pulling these from your Moxie sites, CB Great Lakes, CB Schmidt Ohio, or CB Florida Homes not from the MLS. This is something I tell all of our agents, um, but it's always worth repeating here. We, especially as an office, we do not share from the MLS. We also do not share from Zillow or Realtor.com or anything like that. We share stuff directly from our office sites. Now, 
every, and this is a bit of a kind of a step back as I, I dive in and then I take a step back. Um, every office has things that work a little bit differently from, from page to page. So, so one office uh, might post every single new listing because you have a smaller office and you can handle that and it makes sense. Some of our larger offices with 40 to 50 to 60 agents in those offices, they might not share every listing, but we have a system worked out where they share one or two listings a week or one new listing a day. And, and we have criteria discussed on how to choose those listings. One thing that I want to make clear though, and this is where it can get a little iffy, is that these pages are our company office pages. Number So what I to follow that up, rule number one is agents should not have access to these pages. Now, we own all of them as a company, we have them in our business manager, but, but agents don't really have say over what goes on these pages or what content we share. If there's an event coming up that an agent is part of and is sponsoring or you know is a, is a proponent for, of course we can share stuff like that. But an agent does not get to directly tell any of us what goes on our office pages. They, they can suggest stuff, but I always say, hey, you know what, if you want it done that way, you, you know, that's, that's why we have materials on how you can create your own business page and how you can do your own ads. Um, we have this yesterday in one of our uh, regions where uh, our, our ASC there was posting a new listing and going to boost it from the office page. And this agent had his own website, um, not even through Moxie, not even through Zap, his own custom made you know, website that he paid for himself. And he wanted us to share that website instead and his phone number and all that information and, and we gave them this response we said you know what this is our office page and we use our office websites to promote our listings uh, if you want assistance doing it on your own page we're more than happy to help but our office content stays on our office page and we as ASC's as a marketing group we have determined what goes on this page um, agents don't have direct uh, uh, control I guess um, and that can be a tricky conversation if an agent is insistent about something, but that's what our managers are there for, to bring that up with them. So um, all of that to say is that with new listings and with open houses, um, depending on the region, uh, we always pull from the Moxie site, which is CB Great Lakes, CB Schmidt, Ohio, or CB Florida Homes, or coldwellbanker.com, which is Zap, is also acceptable. Or the third place is the luxury website, coldwellbankerluxury.com. Uh, if your agent has a brand new luxury listing and, the, and, and you want to share it from that luxury site, that is absolutely A-OK, -okay. luxury.com. The branding on here is great. They're beautiful websites. It's absolutely an acceptable option. So that's number one is obviously sharing the listings to the page. Let me see here. Um, commercial listings, great, great question, Sue. The general rule of thumb is anything um, uh, from any of the company websites. So CBC Worldwide is probably the go-to. Um, I know that some of our agents do like to use LoopNet. And if that's the case, you know, that is one of those, it's not technically a, a Coldwell Banker tool, but it is a very common commercial tool. I'm okay if we're using LoopNet, um, but the CBC Worldwide one is the one that I would default to um, myself. Uh, and listings to leads is good. Now, what about the auto L to L? Should we also be posting the new listing from CB Great Lakes? Uh, yes, is the short answer, Sarah. I would be, you know, here's the thing with listings to leads, and we can. This is a, a larger conversation that we don't really need to get into right now. Is that those listings to leads ads or posts theoretically could be generating leads if someone clicks on it and goes through it. Now, I have worked with our offices on this before, but we don't have systems fully set up so that people are we're making sure people respond to those leads. Because those leads are going to go toward to either you or to the agent, but if they're not doing anything with them, it is a poor lead gen system. Because if we've got people inquiring about our services and we're not monitoring that listings to leads account, then we're doing them a disservice. So in terms of the advertising part of it, when we're talking about boosting ads and, and posting those, uh, on an office level, I would be using the, the Moxie sites. If an agent wants to be using the L to L ones for their ads to generate leads, that is a great idea and it's up to them to respond to those leads. But I've done multiple uh, uh, campaigns with offices before where we do something similar and uh, for any variety of reasons, the leads end up just sitting there. And the agents say they want leads and then we give them to them and then they don't respond to said leads. Um, 
like I mentioned earlier, this document is in Schmidt Resources. You can download it through the ASC Square. If you go to Schmidt Resources, you click on any of your regions, and you go down to um, the ASC Square, ASC Resources right here. It is right there, right on screen in the second row, Office Facebook Plan. And if you click that button, it will automatically download the Word document to your computer. Uh, we put this up here in in October, and then we did one update to it a couple of months ago. But this is where it will this is where it will always be housed, um, sort of moving forward. So um, let's keep going down the content here. Our new listings, um, listing statuses. Now this is why I say we should be. I want you guys to have a plan in place with your um, manager about what they like, because I want to use Coldwell Banker Premier as an example here. Coldwell Banker Premier Properties are a new family down in, not new anymore, down in St. Augustine. And I'm up here in however many inches of snow in Michigan. I like them, probably a lot of you are. Um, so let me get to the Premier Properties page. On Schmidt Resources, we also have templates for pendings, just sold, for social media graphics. So we got our happy birthday ones. I'm trying to find one of them that I'm looking for here. Stuff like this an under contract graphic, a just sold graphic that you can go to Schmidt resources. And, and by the way, guys, I want to make this clear too. If you look at this, if you look at this, um, uh, plan, not only did we tell you what to be posting, but we showed you where you can grab it. So if you go to the listing status, you can see the social media templates right here that you can download and you can edit for your, for your um, uh, uh, listings. Now, I wanna make something clear about these. These graphics are meant for posting and sharing, not for advertising. If we're doing ads, we're doing the website. We're, do, we're sharing links to the listings. However, these graphics are nice little templates that you can add. The agents love sharing them themselves because they're nice and big and bold. They're not bad, gra they're, they're great graphics. That's why they're there in the first place. But, it would, it's worth <clears throat> excuse me, talking with your manager about what system they want in place. For example, maybe when there's a new listing, we're sharing the, the website link to boost that. And then after that, once it gets sold, we're sharing the graphic to social media. So that's where that system, that, that, that game plan comes into play. Agent recognition. This is great. This is something that is happening right now with our awards. Was, you know, we had our awards in Michigan last week, Florida, as uh, I think next week, and then uh, Ohio's coming up in March. Our, a lot of us have those award templates that we're sharing to social media. That's fantastic. I love that. In addition to those, uh, if you click on any of these, so let me just click on you know uh, Schmidt Realtors real quick here. We also have oh, yeah new agent templates in here, and we are working on and we'll be adding them uh, to these uh, folders. We're working on having general award templates, and what I mean by that is a template where not only can you um, not only can you share, you know, they won their chairman's club or they got their silver society, but we're, we're gonna we're working on having a graphic where you can also put any award in there. So if your agent gets a local award from a local publication or a local organization, you'll be able to edit that text to, to reflect what that award is. Because a lot of that stuff happens. We've got a lot of agents winning awards on a local level that we never hear about and we want to make sure that you have something in place where you're able to um, help agent or uh, you know make a graphic on that. And we also have, of course, the new agent intro graphic here. This is a beautiful graphic. It's a, it's a square image. You've got all the text here. You just got to go in and change the text themselves, change the photo, and you've got something going. So again, we have all of these things in place here for you to use. Virtual open house stats and graphics. If your region has a virtual open house, you'll be, you can, you know, we should be advertising those. Now, admittedly, that's something that I already take care of on a, on a company level. So if, you know, Paradise has a, an episode that's going to run, I'm going to be the one sharing that to the page. Same with, you know, most of our places, you know, Michigan and Ohio would be the main examples where this is something to watch out for because these get shared 
to the company pages for the whole region. Schmidt Family of Companies, Ohio, Schmidt Family of Companies, and then you can be sharing them on your local, um, on your local office pages as well. And then as we start to look for more stuff just to fill in the blanks, as you know, we're not always going to have five new listings a week or uh, things going under, all of the, under contract all of the time. We've got This Is Our List, where you can share your local vendors from thisisourlist.com. Oftentimes, you'll probably already know which vendors are in your region that you could be sharing content from. But if you don't, you can literally put your location in. I could type in Holland, or I could type in Traverse City, and I could click Search. And I could see what vendors are already in This Is Our List in the Traverse City region and share any of these. There's a bunch of them that show up here. And I could share them and say, hey, one of our amazing, you know, uh, uh, This Is Our List vendors, um, Traverse City Home Inspections, uh, you know, our, our agents love working with them and they're, and they're a great um, vendor. Um, let me see, I saw we had a question, so I wanna go back to that. I, I, and before I answer that question, I wanna hit the last bullet point here on the daily and weekly content. We also have, as you, get, as you may remember, um, when we started pivoting last March, April, as, as um, the pandemic hit harder, um, we have an abundance of social media graphics. Stuff from the brand, buyers and sellers graphics, virtual open house graphics, we are in this together, holiday and seasonal graphics, thank you heroes graphics, moxie backgrounds, all luxury options, all updated with the new luxury logo, all of these are filled with graphics that you can share to your office page. So I'm gonna open the buyer and seller graphics one just for a second. And you can just scroll. And these pages might take a little while to load because there's a lot of images on these pages. But you could find these these um, these graphics. Choose one a day or one every two or three days, and share to your social media. So again, these are a lot of the thank you uh, workers, thank you medical workers, thank you frontline workers. Um, not all superheroes wear capes. Then you got stuff about the Real Trend 500 ranking that Schmidt's got. Uh, we got late last year, um, and in 20, uh, 2019 actually is when they have the stats for. Um, we're uh, always ready anyway, anywhere, anyhow. I mean, we could go through all of these and they're all available just to share with a nice message. Now, one point that I'd say as we, uh, and I don't know if I even put this in the best practices section, let me see. Um, yes, now if you scroll down to the end here, you will see a best practices section. Number one is always write something with a post. Never just share a graphic with no context. So maybe we're taking this graphic here and I'm gonna right click on it, save image as, and I'm just gonna download it right there. That's it, now I got the image. Now I'm gonna to go to the Holland Facebook page. Just too many tabs up here, gotta close some of my tabs quick. Um, I'm gonna click photo video. I'm gonna upload that image. Now instead of just posting this photo like this, I'm gonna add some text to it. So we could say something like this is maybe cheesy, so I wouldn't necessarily say this, but I'm you know, I'm spitballing here. We can say home is where the heart is, and the heart of the home is the kitchen. See guys, I'm a genius, aren't I? Kitchen. Uh, and then maybe we could say, or we put a little emoji there, and we say what's your favorite meal or maybe something like there's nothing more comforting there's nothing more yeah comforting than cooking a meal together and that could be it that's not and again this is not necessarily obviously this is not lead generating this is not um, this is not advertising a listing but it's putting our brand, our family messaging, our home messaging out there um, into, you know, into the world. And it's a nice, easy supplemental piece to share to social media. They say the kitchen is the heart of the home. We know it's you. And yeah, that's about it. So I probably won't even share that one right now as is, but I'm gonna work on that later. Get some better text there just to share something to that page. So 
all of those graphics are there and I'm talking dozens upon dozens upon dozens of graphics on that page um, so let me go back to the chat because I did see a question in there will there be a happy birthday one uh, yes there's supposed to be I know that actually someone on the team was working on that fairly recently um, let me let me see about that uh, I'm gonna actually write that down because I, I do know like I said that there was um, supposed to be one so let me see happy B day template it's a great question thank you for asking that um the only the only yeah no i don't even worth of that so perfect 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 okay so that's going to be the daily and weekly stuff and what and the other way to say this besides daily or weekly is those are the priorities especially in this market and in 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 the the times i hate saying in these times those listings those advertisings for our listings are huge that needs to be our number one priority when we're working on this page. Sorry about the uh, the southern drawl there. Now, we also have more content for uh, if we are looking for more stuff to post. Monthly content. Each month, the Luxury Digital Magazine gets shared to our Luxury Facebook page. I'm actually working on that today or tomorrow morning, depending on how the schedule works out. That will be posted within the next 24 hours to our page. That's a great thing to share to your office page. Again, we've got recruiting graphics on Schmidt Resources um, from the brand, the stats, you know, why, why partner with Coldwell Banker? We were a 2020 Women's Choice Award winner um, and that's something we're proud of. Why work with Coldwell Banker Global Luxury? We have over 144 million in daily luxury sales. All of these graphics, they may not seem like recruiting graphics, they may not seem to directly come work for us, but the more we share these stuff, con these things consistently, why our brand is best that's the kind of stuff that people take notice of and that's the kind of stuff that start to convince people here's what you know um here's why working with with this brand is worth it um working on some great postcards for agents to use the uh, page um we are we're kind of working on a different version of that share so yes there are a lot of postcards and yes there are social um of course they can be made into social media but we are kind of trying to reinvigorate our entire graphic um, uh, plan in the first place and there's so many here that honestly these are my priorities these having these graphics here um, hello baby uh, we can do that but it's something that I would reach out to marketing directly because they're um, we're working on the shapes for example social graphics moving forward from us are going to be squares that's what every platform is moving toward it's not just Instagram anymore and I'd rather see the things that we make moving forward be squares than just um, than the rectangles but I'm kind of getting off track real quick so um, I'm gonna keep talking here um, healthy home graphics same deal we had our healthy home uh, campaign I had someone reach out about that just last week actually um, help he healthy home healthy life that's a he healthy home happy life that is a mouthful I tell you what say that ten times fast all of our, our graphics here for for healthy home are available so again this is stuff that you can post monthly. Once a month, make a note, hey, did I post something with a sort of a recruiting edge? Hey, did I um, share one of the healthy home graphics? Now, one thing I do want to show us real quickly while my, while my head's uh, in it is they have moved scheduling posts. Now, one of the th so one of the things I wanted to talk about is that scheduling posts is a great way to um, get content pushed out. If you find yourself with 30 minutes free on a Monday, maybe, um, it might make sense to schedule four or five posts out for the rest of the month. Now, that's not going to be the best way to do it always because you're going to have new listings come up and you're going to want to make sure you're sharing those listings. However, you can schedule stuff so that it goes out um, automatically on days that you know you're going to be busy. And how you would want to do that is you'd want to go to something called publishing tools. I told you I didn't want to post that. So when you're on your business page on the left, there is a section over here called publishing tools. And when I click on publishing tools, it's going to bring me to a very similar screen. There's a slightly different layout, um, but there's, it's almost exactly the same. So it's a different layout, but all you got to do is click create post up here in this corner. And now it's just like it used to be. So you got the page here, you're going to write something. So I'm going to say, you know, um, why Coldwell Banker Global Luxury? Because we do over 144 
million in luxury sales each and every day. And then I'm going to do my little emoji because you guys know me. I'm going to do my stars. And then I'm going to add my photo right here. Refine that luxury photo. There it is. Wait for it to load because, of course, internet speeds are our best friend. And once we've added this photo, that's all we have to do. We can just click publish just right there and we're good to go. Wait for it. There it is. So again, the only reason you'd want to go here specifically is if you wanted to schedule it. Because I could, I could publish it right now or I could click this little arrow right here and click schedule post. And I could schedule it out. I mean, again, you can schedule stuff six to six, I think six months out, maybe even 12 months out now. But I could just say also, hey, I want this to go live at 6 p.m. tonight. And I'm gonna click save, schedule post. And just like that, it's ready, it's scheduled. Now it says this, don't worry, it says right here. It may take a few minutes, you can confirm it was there. So it's gonna be, it might look blank and that might look a little weird, but I, it will be there um, momentarily. So again, that's only if you wanna schedule post. Everything else is gonna be exactly the same as it used to be. But again, if you wanna know how to get there, I'm gonna show you both ways to get to that schedule post area. Number one, you can literally click on publishing tools over here on the left hand side. I'm hovering over it now, publishing tools. Number two, you can go through it like you normally would, sharing something. So I've got, that's a big video. So I'm gonna do um, National Love Your Pet Day. And then if I wanted to schedule it, you'll see right here, it says post scheduling is available here. So I'd have to make sure to click publishing tools and, and go that way. So either way, you can schedule stuff from publishing tools. But if you ever wanna just do something live in the moment, you don't even need to worry about that. You click create your post, you copy and paste your stuff and you're, and you're off to the races. So monthly content, healthy homes, recruiting graphics, luxury magazine, and then of course supplementary content. We've got the Coldwell Banker blog and the luxury blog, both available right there. We've got St. Jude content. Because we are able to, because we as Schmidt family of companies donate to the, the CB St. Jude partnership through the Schmidt Community Fund, any of our offices can uh, share the St. Jude's content from uh, CB Desk, from BrandServe. And again, we've got a link right here to start that login process. And then of course, community-oriented content. Now I made, um, I made a, a note of this earlier in the call. This is something that's been a huge part of our pages since I started here at this company, is stuff happening in our community. Now obviously, this has changed a little bit with COVID. Um, there's not a lot of local events going on, as many as there used to but there are still a lot of things happening locally that our agents are a part of, that our um, that's happening in our community, good things that are happening, positive, uplifting things that you can find from local blogs, from local publications. You know, uh, your local papers that normally have social media presences have things you can share. Um, whether that's, you know, in Traverse City, you've got the Record Eagle. In Holland, we've got the Holland Sentinel. You know, your local publications have social media pages that you can share articles from as well. As long as they're appropriate for an office Facebook page and as long as they are um, uplifting and positive. We don't really want anything uh, too negative. Um, the last thing that I, wanted, that I wanna say and I wanna add this to this daily and weekly content section is content with your agents. Anything that physically has your agents in the photos or in the video is huge for our pages. It's huge for people getting to know our agents, seeing them in the office, and, and having them visibly on the page. Um, that, again, it used to be a lot easier when we had office events that we would do, potlucks or sales meetings or something like that. But you can see here, even on the Holland page, they have a video uh, of a Zoom call where they did one of their charity auctions here. And this is just Zoom video of them, you know, for, taking a, you could eat very easily take a screenshot and say, you know, we're, you know, we're still playing it safe, but we still have our weekly sales meetings uh, to, to go over, you know, to see each other and to, and to keep up with what's going on in the real estate industry. But putting your agents on there, that's why those agent recognition graphics are so big. 
That's why whether they've won a local award, a Schmidt award, just anything that puts your agents on the page is huge. So that's one thing I would always be looking out for. Is there some sort of office event coming on? Or did an agent have their first closing? A brand new agent? Or did they have a, 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 a um, what's the word? Uh, uh, a landmark sale. Maybe they had their first global luxury sale. Uh, anything like that. We want to make this about our listings and about our agents. Now again, this is a plan. These are also guidelines. Kind of if, you, if anyone's a Pirates of the Caribbean fa fan, they're more like guidelines anyway. What this is about, thank you, Michelle, for nodding. Um, what this is here for is to start you on a, a path, to give you content, locations to find them, and to get you into a consistent rhythm. This does not mean you cannot deviate from this. If you have some sort of idea, for example, I had a, an office once ask me, and of course, now that I'm thinking about this idea, I can't remember what actually office it was. But they said, could we do a video series where once a week we feature one of our agents and they do a little bio on them? Or they do a little you know, real estate tip. My name's JD, I've been a realtor here for seven years and my number one tip for sellers is blank. Of course, that's an awesome idea. I love that. Just because it's not on this plan doesn't mean you can't do it. If you ever have ideas like that where you wanna know, um, uh, what to, um, if this is okay, or maybe how to execute on something, let me know. That's the kind of stuff I love seeing on our pages. So yes, of course we can do something like that. Um, but this is, you know, I don't, what I don't want to hear is the opposite of this is I didn't know what to post. I don't know where to find stuff. Not like I said, not only did we give you the content, but we showed you where to get it at the very least. Those graphics are always available for you to, to download and share from. Um, Please, you got again. If you, blah, blah. Again, if you guys have questions, please uh, leave them. But local rates. Sometimes we get rates from local banks. Um, that's not necessarily a bad idea. Um, I'm assuming it's Judy because it said Gaylord. Um, it's not a bad idea. I get a, on a bit of a soapbox about those, and let me tell you tell you why. It's because oftentimes those graphics don't make sense to the consumer. I have seen graphics come from our lenders, myself included, our, our lender at LMCU sends us graphics um, as agents that are about rates, that are about mortgages, that are about you know new uh, plans or ways to get qualified, and they make zero sense to the consumer. I, I one time, and, and I, what happens is our agents will share those graphics, and I saw one in our, I'll say in the Woodland region, where one of our agents shared that, they had a graphic from one of their lenders, they shared it on their Facebook page, and I, who have been li living, working for this company for four and a half years, and I am licensed, and I have bought and bought a home, I looked at this graphic and the text that accompanied it four times in a row and could not understand what the graphic was saying or what the accompanying text was saying. It made no sense to me, and I like to think that I'm a relatively savvy guy, uh, it made no sense to me, let alone your average consumer who might be buying or selling for the first time. So graphics or that sort of content is not necessarily a bad idea but you have to make sure that it makes sense for the consumer and you or you have to make sure that if it doesn't you know if it's a little bit cloudy what you share above it makes sense to the consumer kind of kind of um, uh, simplifies it or makes it clear what this graphic is saying so I'm not necessarily against that sort of information especially if it's coming from our, our local uh, lenders and whatnot but we want to make sure that if Joe Schmo down the street saw this, that they would know what that means and that and they would be able to understand the value to them from that graphic or from that content. But that's a great question. That's and that's a great example too of something that might not fall directly in. Um, but it, I see what's I, <laughs> I don't know who who it is, but I saw someone walk into the room and then see me on camera and go and then walk out of the room. Which just makes my day it just makes it a little much little little more fun. So um so there's only a couple more things I want to talk about with this stuff, guys, um, which uh, I'm going to go through these best practices really briefly here, um, just because uh, we've already done a couple of them. Always write something with a post. Never post something without text above it. Give me context. Tell me why. If it's a new listing, and, and I, what I'll do actually, let me um, go to my uh, test business page that I use for you know training and stuff. Um, and I'm gonna put this in here. Now, I'm putting this in here in the chat for one specific reason, to show you examples of, of 
listing posts. Don't like this page. There are 20 some likes on this page. You will not get anything from this. This is a training page. One time, hand to God, I shared one of these during a Coldwell or a, a Michigan Launchpad training, and somehow my mom had found this page and she shared it to her social media, her personal page. And I had to text her and say, Mom, take that down. That's a training page. How did you find that in the first place? So don't share anything from this page. It's a training page. Um, but I want to show you guys some of the text that I'm looking at when I'm sharing these listings. That's not a lot. You know, using this one as an example, I've got two lines of text. I don't have a lot. I say it's a new listing. I share objective truths about the home, meaning I'm saying three beds, one and a half baths. I did use an adjective here, spacious, spacious backyard, short distance to downtown Holland, original hardwood floors. I'm not necessarily, you know, I have a luxury listing down here I use an, as an example too. New Holland listing, four beds, six baths, 250 feet of Lake Michigan frontage, recently, excuse me, recently remodeled kitchen. And then again, I did use one adjective, stunning views throughout. But I didn't say beautiful, stunning views overlooking the vista of Lake Michigan, Lake Makatawa. The bedrooms will have you, you know, in, in awe of how much room, it's not stuff like that. We're getting to the point, we're sharing the, 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 at facts about the home and that's what we're putting here two quick lines and then a line that says to to learn more or schedule a showing click below now on our office pages we always want to credit the listing agent because they're our agents so if you're sharing a listing from an agent share that you know say who it's by listed by Andrea Crossman group and this brings me to the point here when appropriate feel free to tag an agent's business page but we will never tag personal pages from our office page. That's a hard line rule. We are not tagging personal pages on an office page. There's a variety of reasons why. I could, I just don't wanna spend three or four minutes going into it, but do not tag personal pages on an office page. Um, but again, if they have a business page, especially if they're, again, I, I keep going back to the whole new agent idea, but if they're a new agent, share, tag their business page, share that with, 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 the, um, with the community. And, and try to drag, not drag, but try to direct people there. So again, this is just a bunch of test posts. So I've just been doing a lot of training on this with listings, and again, same deal here. New St. Augustine listing, three beds, two and a half baths, new pool, 900 square feet, right on the water. I made that stuff up for training. None of those things are probably true about this home. I should actually delete that one, even though I know the listing agent well, and he wouldn't be mad, but just for the sake of it, I'm gonna remove it. Um, so those are the best practices I have. They're five to six posts a week are ideal, at least one thing a day. But again, that is a guideline. I've had someone say, you know, I, I scheduled the post on today for four o'clock, but it's 11 a.m. and I have a new listing. Can I post it? Absolutely. You can absolutely post more than one thing a day. The only caveat is you want to try to space it out. So if you've got three, you know, I had this actually recently an agent with, with the awards. I went up in Traverse City. They have a lot of agents who won awards and they were asking, how can I share all these? Um, what's the best way to share all of these? And I said, post two or three of them a day, but just spread them out. Post one at nine or 10 a.m., schedule one for one or 2 p.m., schedule the third one for six or 7 p.m. Just schedule them out over time. And you can post more than one thing a day, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. The more content, the better, honestly. Uh, do, do. When I'm posting things, why can't I tag my agents? Uh, Sarah, that might be something we, you wanna, we wanna follow up on outside of this because Basically, if you're trying to tag your agents, this username of their business page is what you wanna be looking for. If you were to try to tag my business page here, you'd wanna use my username. So you would, you know, if I were on the Premier page, my username is at JD Waldvogel Sells. So if I were trying to tag that, I would say on this post, congrats to at JD Waldvogel Sells, and my page would show up right there. And that's going to tag my business page. Um, I want to wrap up. I know that you know we're going a little bit over. I think we are. Carrie just asked me how to go, so I don't know if that means I'm supposed to be done. So I'm going to I'm going to go over the one last section real quick, guys. Um, the last section real quick is going to be the advertising part. This is a big question that I get too. How much should we be spending, and what should we be advertising? That's a great uh, two-part question. The minimum budget should be $100 for an office. The maximum should be, we, we hit normally about 500 bucks a month per office. That is a conversation to have with, our, with your manager. 
you're more than happy. I'm more than happy to to loop into that. Tracy is more than happy to loop into that. But that's a decision that the manager has to make because it, the ads get billed back to your office. So that needs to be a decision uh, internally about how much you want to spend. Now, if you're unsure, if it's sort of a reboot, if it's something that you're really getting used to, there's nothing wrong with starting low and, and working your way up to it. You know, maybe you start at 150 with a goal of hitting 300 a month. Um, but that's that's going to be up to you. And then what are we advertising? Our open houses, our new listings, and luxury listings are the main three. Now, agent recognition, sure. Um, but again, those have, you know, if you were to boost one of those graphics right now for, a new, for an award, that's, that's going to be great recognition for the agent, but it's not going to drive business. It's not going to drive clicks. It's not going to drive things like that. Doesn't mean it's a bad idea. We just want to make sure we know what we are, what we're trying to go for. So our priorities again should be new listings. And I'm actually going to rearrange this because new listings should be our number one priority when we're talking about advertising, advertisements, advertising, advertisements as new listings, open houses, of course, uh, luxury listings. If your agent has a luxury listing, we're more always putting more putting budget behind that. The last thing I want to say about ads is this line right here. I want to see fewer ads with bigger budgets, not more ads with smaller budgets. Quality, not quantity. I know it's one of those weird wordplay things, but if you've got a hundred dollars a month to spend, I want to see four ads a month for twenty-five bucks a piece, as opposed to. 20 ads a month for five bucks a piece. The more budget an ad has, the more powerful it's going to be. And I know that kind of makes sense, right? The more you spend, the more you're going to, the more reach you're going to get. But the more we break our ads down, the less effective all of those ads become. So, so I want us to do as much as possible, bigger ads, put more budget behind them, 25 bucks, at least 50 bucks. If we have, you know, 200 bucks to play with bigger budgets, not, um, not more ads. So fewer ads, not more. So that, and then, oh yeah, one last thing down here I added after talking with, with an RVP is that our office page, this is sort of just like a, a wordplay thing. Our office page is for our consumers. Content should be listings involving consumers value for them. Our closed Facebook groups are internal. Uh, this is going to be announcements, whether it's awards that are coming up, local stuff from your sales meetings, um, invites are needed to get into these groups. They're meant for internal discussions. One shout out that I want to give is to our Gaylord, Michigan office. They use their Facebook group as an office. Amazingly. They share stuff there from sales meetings. They share stuff, um, from their local community. And they also have a lot of discussion. Um, I'll actually even share one. Another great example is our Sunstar. Um, page or Sunstar group. See, I use it myself. Our Sunstar Facebook group um, called Sunstar Connect. This is a, uh, there was an example yesterday of an agent uh, who asked, "Have you ever had a buyer you're working with ask you to sweeten the pot by cutting your commission on an offer?" And a bunch of our agents jumped in and gave their advice on that topic. It was a great way for our agents to help our agents. But the only reason I bring up this differentiation is that I've seen, because I'm a part of most of these groups, but I've seen agents, um, I, I've seen groups where consumers try to get in, where they try to become a member, whether it's one of our local vendors, whether it's just a client that someone worked with. I've seen it quite a few times and we don't want that. Our groups are internal and meant for uh, our agents and offices only. So. I want you guys to ask any more questions you have as, as I wrap it up here. I only want to spend maybe two or three more minutes chatting, um, but please feel free to write questions in if you have any. Um, there's sort of two things I want to end on. Like I said, the plan is there with all of the information that w that you need, but A, you can always reach out to me if you have questions. You can always reach out to Tracy if you have questions. That's what we're, and Carrie if you have questions. That's what we're here for. But on an execution level, there's a couple of things that are important. Number one is having those meetings with your manager, forcing them to know what's going on on your office page, even if it's five minutes a month and say, Hey, maybe it's, you know, you, you all know your managers better than anyone else. You know what works best for them. So maybe it's you having a plan and saying, this is what I'm going to do in March on the page. Are you okay with that? Yes. Sounds good. Great. Okay. You've done your due diligence by putting it in front of them and showing them that page. 
Some people might want a conversation. Some people might say they might want, okay, let's talk about it. what do we want to post? What ideas do we have? And stuff like that. That's also an option. But getting with your manager on this stuff is important. And number two, one thing that I've seen some of our offices start to do is share this stuff with your office, with your agents. Now, again, this is something that you want to communicate and talk with your manager about, but I've had a couple offices start, you know, at one sales meeting a month, just sharing the stats on the page for the past month. Because part of the problem that uh, I, agents have this with consumers, but we also have with our agents is they don't know what we're doing unless we tell them what we're doing. So if you did four ads last month and it went really well, why not share, you know, in a sales meeting, just have one little PowerPoint slide that say that says, hey guys, excuse me, excuse me, on our Facebook page last month, we reached 12,000 people in the area and we had 6,000 clicks to our listings. Just wanted to let you know. Just sharing that value is fantastic. And of course, we hope our agents like our business page, our office page. That's part of the, the ideal part of it. But I, I'll tell us the same thing I tell our agents. How is a consumer, how is your client supposed to know what you're doing for them unless you tell them what you're doing for them? You know, I had an agent once come to me uh, in one of our, uh, one of our Woodland, Michigan offices, Woodland Schmidt offices. He came, she came to me and said, um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I've had this luxury listing for six months. And, or close to six months, and I'm trying to re-up the, con, you know, the, the agreement, and they're saying that I haven't done anything for them, but I did the mailer, I put it in the luxury magazine, I did the video, I did the, ad, like, I did do all this stuff for them. I said, well, did you tell them that? And she, they're like, she's like, well, I told them about the magazine, but some of the other stuff, you know, no, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't, so why would they know? You need to be telling your agents what you're doing for them. Hey, just, hey, JD, you know, the listings in the MLS and I just started our first social media campaign for it. I'll let you know how it goes next week when it's done. Next week, hey JD, just want to let you know, we reached 10,000 people and had 3,000 clicks to your listing. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Filling them in as we do these things is very important because again, otherwise they're not going to know. So the same thing for our office, all right? Once a month at an office, one of our Zoom sales meetings telling people, hey guys, you know, in February we reached this many people, we did ads for these listings, and we also had this post do really well when you know Jim won his first award. So congrats, you know, to Jim. Blah blah blah. So share with your offices what you're doing, because otherwise they're not going to think that we're doing anything. Um, let me see if we had to do. I've had a couple bad negative consumer comments left on listing posts. Is it okay if I delete them? That's a great question. That is a fantastic question. Um, so let me show you, let me see if I can find an example, not of a negative comment, but just of a comment in general on a, on a post. Um, do, 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 do. I don't even know where I would find one. Um, we go to the luxury page. Actually, I know there. So it is, you know, so there is, you can do that. You can delete the comments and, you know, I, I am okay with that. There is one step before deletion that I would almost prefer. Um, and that's called hiding a comment. So let me see if I can find a comment quick. Um, and then I will show you how to how to do that. Um, do, do, do. That one I could use that one, but that's not really. Well, maybe I'll just use this. Um, okay, so this on our luxury page. I'm sure if you guys use Facebook regularly, um, you may have noticed where people will kind of just like tag their friends in a comment because they want them to see something. So right here, Tani, you know, tagged her friend Selena. So that she could see something. Um, that's not a, that's a totally okay comment. I would never delete that. I'm just using it as an example on what you can do. So if you see a comment that you want gone, or that is that is inappropriate or what have you, if you hover over the comment, you're gonna see three dots appear right at the end here. And if you hover over it, it says delete, hide, or report this. Now, if it's really bad, if it's if it goes against Facebook's community standards, feel free to report the comment. The other two things you can do: one is delete. That will just completely delete the comment from the post. Just make it go away completely. The other thing you can do is hide a comment. And if I hide a comment, that will hide th the comment from anybody that is basically not her or her friends. So Joe Schmo on the other side of town, if they're not, if I'm not friends with Tani, I'm not going to see that comment. This is kind of a nice middle ground before deletion because not to really get in the weeds, but what I, and I've seen this happen before um, at my old job more more often than here. If you delete someone's comment and they go back later and they see their comments deleted, they're gonna be even more frustrated than they were in the first place. 
And then you start having those comments of, I can't believe you deleted my comment, blah, 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 blah. Um, nine times out of 10, that might not happen. It's just nice to avoid it either way. So what I would recommend doing is I would hide the comment. Um, I'm gonna unhide hers because I don't need to do that. I would hide a comment first. That would probably be my first go-to. Um, but there is nothing wrong with deleting a comment if you feel like that's appropriate. And that's where I will start to say, you know, your guys' discretion is totally important here. Um, so that's that's up to you. But I'd say hide first and then delete second. Um, but that's it. I, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, it's been 50 minutes. Um, and I, I appreciate your guys' time and your patience of just listening to me babble. Um, again, you can find this document on Schmidt Resources right in the ASC square. If you have questions about it, please let me know. Please let Tracy know. Please let Carrie know. Um, only thing I'll say is that um, I'm going out for ankle surgery on Friday. Everything's fine. Just getting something tightened up. I'll be out for a few days. So if I don't respond late this week or early next week, it's not because I don't like you. I like all of you. I'm just going to be, you know, uh, resting with my foot elevated, holding babies. So um, other than that, I'm always going to respond to you guys as quick as I can. Same with Carrie and Tracy. Thank you for your time. I will see all of you on Blue Sync tomorrow and have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone.